Good morning. Why do you have a lunchbox? Gonna go to public school? Same place that Hallie goes? And Hannah's gonna drop off Hallie at her, at her class. Are you excited to have a sister go to school with you? Today is another big change in our family lifestyle. Since Hallie started going to kindergarten and she has been loving it, Hannah has shown a really big interest in going to school as well. We did it. We put Hannah in public school in third grade and yeah. And now we're gonna figure out what life is like right now with that. I have butterflies in my stomach. Yeah. You'll do great. I bet once you get in your classroom, you find your seat, you say hi to the kids you're sitting next to, you'll be fine. Hallie came by herself on her first day of school. You'll yeah. do great. Well, Dan is taking the girls to school. Toby is working on his school, ABC Mouse, on the computer. And I'm about to head upstairs and start school with Zeke. It'll be our first time to do school without her. That's sad for me. <laughs> and that's it, Hannah's at school. I am excited and nervous for her. She's gonna do great. She makes friends so easily. So she's gonna have a great time. I'm so excited and cannot wait to hear stories of how her day goes. <sighs> but part of me is nervous and I don't know why. I think I was just kind of like, Lord, please like help her find her class, let the kids at her table be nice, and let her just take the butterflies away, I guess. You ready for school today? Yeah. How do you feel about not doing this with Anna? You gonna miss her? Or do you wish you would come back and do school with us? I'm gonna miss her too. This is Hannah's very first time in school. She's in third grade, and we decided to send her because once she kind of wanted to, so we thought, okay. And two, uh, just makes it a little easier here at home for us during this season of life with everything going on with our family and Deanna's medical stuff and Livia's eye and, and everything. Uh, we just ran out of capacity. We just ran out of the ability to kind of do our normal routine. So Zeke didn't go to school because he is a few years ahead and so he, we, he's been doing school with Hannah. He's supposed to be in doing first grade stuff this year, but instead he's doing third grade stuff. And so to put him in school, he probably does, he didn't really want to go back to addition and subtraction and that kind of stuff. So, um, plus he doesn't really want to, right? You want to stay home? Yeah. Okay. So I think that makes sense for Zeke and his personality and with where we're at. Sending Hannah to school doesn't really save me a lot of time necessarily since I'm already doing school with Zeke anyway. Um, but I think since Hallie's in school and Hannah wants to give it a shot, we'll do it during this season and reevaluate at Christmas time. One thing I just realized Zeke that Hannah won't get to do is she won't get to do Bible with us in the morning, which is what is how we open up school. So what do you think about maybe we had to do Bible with Hannah before she leaves in the morning? Because at least we'll get to do something with her that way. We're gonna read this story. Who is that? Ezekiel. Do <laughs> you like that story? On July 31st of my 13th year, while I was in the Judean exiles beside the Kabar River in Babylon, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. There was fire inside the cloud and in the middle of the fire was something like gleaming paper. We're a little early to preschool for the twins and I forgot to bring reading books. I usually bring some books so I can read them some stories, but they're just having fun climbing around, trying out different seats in the van. <laughs> you are buckling yourself up. Whose seat is that? That's Hobby Tail. Yep. And that's Hobby Tail. Yep, and then Hallie sits there. And me. 
I've been trying not to worry about Hannah today because she's so good at making friends and she's just such a fun personality and people are just attracted to her of wanting to just hang out with her and be around her. And so I figured, you know what? She's gonna be great. Yeah, but I had to help with buckling up. You need some help buckling up? Uh -huh. I don't wanna buckle you in there. Huh? Huh? Those are, those are squirrels. I did talk to her a little bit that she was nervous about how lunch would go and recess, because that's more of like, do I have a friend to play with and hang out with and eat with and sit with? Chloe wants a peanut butter and squirrel? Yeah. A peanut butter and squirrel sandwich? Yeah. Rose? Ew. Stay right there, Karis. Whoa, that's a big step. Okay, you gotta get your lunch boxes. Love you. First thing I'm already noticing about Hannah not being here to do school is just how quiet it is. <laughs> There's no going back between them talking and it's just Zeke sitting here, just working hard. You should be listening to music or something. Or you and I should be talking more, don't you think? Are you concentrating? Fun. And there's some patterns here. Five. Ten. Zeke and I worked on several things together here today, and so while he's finishing up some geography stuff, I write up on the board the things he's gonna do on his own for like sometime this afternoon. So you just gotta get that done before dinner time. Okay. The rest of this morning, I am on meetings with people. My, uh, my Tuesdays are my team meeting day. So I just hop on video meetings right here, and we talk for a while. Just finished bunch of meetings and so I got about an hour before my next one and go check on Zeke and see how he's doing with school and especially how he's feeling doing all this by himself today. How's it going? Good. Getting all your stuff done? Mm -hmm. Yeah? How do you feel about doing all this without Hannah? I'm sorry little guy. When Hannah's normally here, she normally helps me a lot with school. Oh, she does help? Do you need me to help you more? No, I just want Hannah to be here. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna go get some lunch. I love you. Sorry you're sad and missing Hannah. With frightening news, the Persians were coming. I missed you. I How was school today? Good. And now you want to do more school <laughs> on ABC Mouse? Okay. Toby, have you been doing ABC Mouse all day long? Are you learning lots? Toby. No. All right. Y'all want to go with me to get the twins? All right. Keep learning. Love you. Say bye. Cutie pie. You ready to get Karis and Chloe from school? Did y'all have a good day? What was your favorite part? Uh, dance. Dance? Yeah, I seen an animal. You a saw an in a cow? Huh? In Where? In a cow. Did you have fun at school? Yeah. This moment is like what I've been waiting for all day long. So excited, cannot wait for what she's gonna tell us about her first day of school. <laughs> Hello! Come sit up front. How was your first day? Good. 
Did you like it? Do you wanna go back tomorrow? Yeah. Good, Hannah did awesome, which I knew she would. Um, but it's always kinda, it can be kinda scary trying something new. And she's been my one that doesn't like change. So for her to make this big step and go to school, I'm really proud of her. Hannah actually had a great surprise when she got to school. One of her friends that she knows from our church community is in her class. So that was awesome. That was one of my prayers. It was like, Lord, please put somebody that she knows in there or somebody that's gonna be really friendly and it's just gonna like become friends on the first day of school. So that was really awesome to hear. And I think really helped her with her nerves because the teacher even sat them next to each other, which was awesome. I am so thankful for that. I don't know if there's gonna be more changes happening in our family. We'll just continue to work with things as they come and take it from there. And I mean, I feel like we're in a season right now where we you really can't plan too far out and ahead. You just have to focus on what season you're in right now and focus on what's best for your family in that time. So I, I, I think that's what we're doing right now.